Hey guys, welcome back once again to the wonderful world of Westworld, where today we have leveled up after unlocking the upgraded control room to a level 3, and uh, yeah, here's Lee back to uh, give us some more advice. Ease them into it, they say. Well, there's no better start than the Sheriff Bandit's narrative. It's more than a mission, though. It's a path to adventure and self-discovery, and gunplay guests love gunplay obviously we've seen that poor freaking bank teller up here just like getting jacked every five seconds speaking of which um teddy now finds himself being robbed by one of our random guests and somehow he keeps finding bags of money just coming out of his pants left and right where does he hide all the bags that is one of the like nine mysteries of the world there's, like, the mystery of the Grand Canyon and the mystery of <laughs> Teddy's underpants uh, just being never-ending, right? Man. So Emmett uh, leveled up off-screen after being robbed multiple times, and it looks like he wants to be robbed again. So we'll go ahead and put that underway because, you know, I mean, here's the thing, right? In Westworld, it's so important to basically have your guests being entertained at all times because if you don't have them doing missions just constantly around the clock then you're not going to earn that valuable coin in order to level up and do what you need to do to uh, <laughs> to prevent the torture of these poor souls or robots do robots have souls i think that's a question that thanks to be answered so yeah that guest was extremely happy with his torture of Teddy. And who's to blame him? You know, I mean, like, that's just... It's one of those things. Carter Eagleman. What a dick. And Teddy's like, Hey! I'm okay. I came out and I didn't, like, end up bleeding to death. So it's been a good day. Meanwhile, in the saloon, Carmen continues to work. And doing her thing. Clone Carmen. Also, Clone Carmen is apparently a lot better than uh, the other Carmen. And we have earned some much needed coin. So that's awesome. Teddy is ready for a game of cards. So we'll go ahead and sit him down. And we'll get some other guests just preoccupied with other things. Because, like I said, if we don't have them doing things, just we're not going to earn coin. So we'll go back to the bank really quick. That robbery should be... Oh, no, it's not over yet. And we don't have any host to engage that young lady. So we will come on down here, and we will spawn... Well, we, we can't spawn Lawrence yet. And I'm kind of saving up for Lawrence, because I just don't... I don't want to spawn another bandit host. Because it's like... I don't know, should we? Sure, let's go ahead and do it. We'll spawn another bandit host, just because the more host we do have up there, the more guests will be entertained, and it's like, we'll get our coin quicker. Ironically enough, this ghost, <laughs> this ghost, this host, grew up in poverty, and uh, he's a bank teller, so, hey, whatever, right? Meanwhile, in the control room, things are plucking along. The park is being monitored, and speaking of which, that is what I'd like to focus on today. It's just like the grand scale of the park. Because like we have uh, the park itself, and then below we have all these awesome rooms. And we have uh, Dr. Ford's office, which is pretty goddamn creepy, to be perfectly frank. And then just all the subterranean levels below. And what's really cool, let's just get out of that. What's really cool is that this actually goes both ways as far as the set so you can actually zoom in and check out some of these individual areas before they unlock where like our guests are just wandering around seeing horses and uh you know we have the train yard which is constantly being frequented by our guest and she should be able to rob him now there so is she just gonna rob him as a citizen yeah it looks like that's the case Awesome. <laughs> it's the only time you'll ever hear anybody say awesome for a bank robbery. 
but yeah, we have wagons and we have just our town running that way. And it's really cool because like we have this big old mountain. Big old mountains are just amazing. So back at the saloon, let's go ahead and earn our coin. See if 96. Wow. Teddy, you are just like being freaking amazing. No wonder the programmers love you. And Carmen is uh, doing what she needs to do to succeed. And we leveled up to a level four, claiming five gems. And uh, yeah. So, very cool. Teddy meets another guest. We will see if we can uh, get somebody out here. Oh, he's leaving. What's this guy doing? He is leaving. It looks like a lot of people are leaving. So let's sit here and just wait for the next train to come. Is he going to actually climb on the train? No, he just disappeared. Okay. That seems about right. <laughs> right? No. I was just going to say, let's wait for the next train to come. And um, then we'll be able to actually assign some more guests to deal with their host. Meanwhile, Emmett is performing adequately. Got us roughly 100 coin. Other Emmett is uh, still in the process of being robbed. So we'll just have to wait on him. Let's see if we can actually unlock any more buildings yet. We don't want to do that. We want to build a sheriff station. And we'll plop that guy down right here. And we're going to speed that along because I don't feel like waiting two minutes. And there she is. You guys. And look at that. Just got to kind of sit here and soak in the atmosphere, you know? How'd you like to be the person on that wall that says you're wanted? But most of the time, that's like a person that's a robot. So chances are you wouldn't be that person. But yeah. Actually, I just noticed now, as we move, you can actually see the renderings of the buildings behind us and the guests walking by and the train and everything. God, that's so cool. Okay. Looks like some more guests are arriving. Cassidy. Ooh. She looks like a heartthrob. Looks like Teddy's done. 96. Wow, Teddy. And look, you got something called cowboy coins. How the hell did you get cowboy coins, Teddy? Nobody knows. But he's going to walk outside. Let's actually put shit. <laughs> Let's put Shetty. <laughs> Let's put Teddy in the sheriff's and let's see how he reacts to the situation. So he's just in jail. Teddy is in jail. Being scolded by some futuristic rich guy. Oh no, is, is he being broke out? It looks like it. He looks pretty satisfied. Teddy, you crazy SOB. How did you get to do this? <laughs> How did you talk a guest into, like, being your friend? Watch him just be stabbed by the guest, too. As soon as he gets out of jail, somebody just puts a knife in his back. It's actually going to take nine minutes. Wow, okay, we got to ride this along. 95%. Good job, Teddy. <laughs> Way to speed up. He almost got 300 coins for doing that. Damn. Way to be, Ted. We'll never know if you got stabbed in the back, though. Let's check out your interaction with the senorita here. They're planning diabolically. And apparently it went very well. And we're so close to unlocking that new host, so let's just go ahead and... Actually, Teddy's about to level up, too. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. And we should have enough to unlock 
We'll level up Teddy, first of all, I think. Right? Is he good? Yeah. Teddy has leveled up. So good for Teddy. Meanwhile, we now have enough to unlock a new host. Lawrence, who is now joining the park. So, Lawrence dabbled in cattle rustling. He's a tracker, he's a charmer, he's a caretaker, he's a sage, and a wanderer. So, you may go into the park, sir, and do what needs to be done to uh, ensure our guest entertainment. What the hell? I just realized that there's like a robot skull there. That's so cool. All right. I don't think we can unlock... Yeah, we have to be at level 9 to unlock Ford's office. So that's just going to have to wait for the time being. So, alright guys. Um, yeah, I think that that about does it for today. We have pretty much done what we need to do in order to uh, ensure our guest entertainment for the time being. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and assign some odd jobs to a variety of our hosts. And let's actually see if we can... Lawrence, available at version 5. What the hell? So we just made him for nothing? Or maybe he can't interact in that particular area until level 5? What the hell are you doing, Lawrence? Attributes. Okay, he's kind of all over the place. Bulk, charm, courage. Hmm. So why can't I assign him? Maybe he has to go to the jail. No. Doesn't seem to be the case. We're just gonna have a bunch of people. Robot clones getting into all kinds of trouble here. Alright guys, well, it's been a very productive day. We've unlocked a new building, we've leveled up one of our top tier hosts, and um, yeah, our park guests continue to be entertained. We have an overall 50% approval rating, which is great. So, thanks for watching everybody, and um, yeah, we will see you guys next time. Bye!